So I think I cracked the code on how to get to 300 days in 60 seconds. I'm only gonna try this one time and I'm gonna explain to you how I came to the conclusion that I can get to 300 days. This is gonna be my last attempt because I think that this is what I've been doing wrong. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, cause here we go. So what I noticed is when I did the speed run challenge, I didn't even read the notes. I kind of just like read a couple words and then I didn't even deal with those scenarios. I think if you don't deal with those scenarios right there, they actually come back in the future. And if you have all the items in your bunker, then you lose the opportunity to get those items later in the future as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hoard as much water and food as I can. Get the whole family so we can use those scenarios with all the family members. Slowly let them die out. And then I will get like the new scenarios um, that I haven't gotten. Like once we get to like 100 days, 200 days. You'll see what I'm talking about later. But one thing that we're going to get for sure is the gas mask because we're always going to need that. And then I'm also going to get... Um, what else am I going to get? I'm also going to get the med kit. There you go. And then I'll get this... No, I won't get the suitcase because I don't want to get that many items in the bunker yet. So let's grab you and you. And like I said, food and water, food and water. Come on. Food and water. I think I need the Boy Scout book to go. I need that. It's not really that useful anymore, but you know what? It is what it is. So let me grab that. And then, oh shit, whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay, some water. Just trying to find all the water that I can, everybody. Oh my goodness, the other ones are over there? You gotta be freaking joking me. Okay, let me just get this. Go, 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 throw the suitcase in there. Okay, the one and Kobe. only attempt of 300 days challenge. I think I got the code for it. Let that challenge begin. Yeah, when I was doing the speed run challenge, I actually noticed that some of the scenarios that I wasn't saying yes and no to, they would come back again. And I was like, huh. So if I don't deal with those scenarios right now, maybe they'll come back later. So we got all those things, but it doesn't quite matter. And I think I'm going to start sending out Timmy because he is the one that is most likely to come back. That's what somebody told me in the comments. So, we are going to prepare to scavenge. And my problem with not getting to 300 once I get to 200 plus is the fact that those scenarios just disappear. So, if I don't deal with them now, maybe that means that I'll actually get those scenarios somewhere down the line. So, I'm actually going to bring the suitcase and the gas mask and good luck to me. And the reason why I'm even bringing the family is because I'm missing so many missed opportunities to get Mary Jane scenarios, Timmy scenarios, scenarios that involve like the kids and the family at the same time. If you don't have them, you miss on so many scenarios in this game. Theodore is back. That is, in fact, his first name. I'm fucking with you. I have no idea what his name is. It could be Timmy. It could be Tim Tholomew. I don't even know what his name would be, but let's feed everybody. Oh, wait, actually, let me see what he got. He brought back one soup and two waters. I should just kill him off. I honestly should kill him off, but you know what? We're not going to do that. Let me prepare to scavenge one more time, and Timmy has been sitting there just staring into space. Is something wrong? Maybe it would be good to have a little chat with him. That's what I'm talking about, everybody. If we didn't have Timmy, that scenario would never pop up. But if I have as many family members as I can in the bunker... We're going to get a whole bunch of new scenarios that I've never gotten before. So I'm just going to milk it for all it's worth. And I'm going to send out Mary Jane. And I don't think she's going to come back with anything. But hey, it is what it is. If this doesn't work, everybody, I'm throwing this game out the window. Our sorry excuse for a dinner was interrupted by a raspy voice coming from outside saying, Want to buy a rock? We calmed down when we realized the voice belonged to old man Jim. I don't give a... Day 16, Mary Jane is back. Hopefully she brought back some of the good stuff. She's sick, so maybe she can turn into Mutant Mary Jane. She brought back one water and two soups and a gas mask and an axe. Okay, my bad. Let me give Dolores... Should I give Dolores the med kit? I don't know. She don't deserve it. And we don't know anything about what's going on on the surface, but it's okay. We're going to be all right. Mary Jane being a mutant would be pretty clutch right now, but I think that I can live without it. But I don't know if I can live with Dolores dying. She's always been the MVP with these long runs. So I don't know what I need to do. And I keep getting radio scenarios. So once I finally get a radio in the future, which is what my plan is all along, then we're going to get those types of scenarios in the future, right? Because, yeah, once you get to 200 days, the notes are dry. They're drier than DMs, bro. And I'm not sending anybody out. And we played a game of list of things you hate the most. And for some reason, our neighbor came up. Let's go rob the neighbor. 
Let's send Timmy to rob the neighbor blind. If he doesn't come back, it was a sacrifice that we had to make. What did you get, Timmy? He brought back a checkerboard. You rob somebody? You potentially risk your life for a checkerboard? What in the hell is that? Mary Jane's gone. I forgot to give her water and food. That's my bad, everybody. And there's more radio scenarios. I think I messed that up. <laughs> I was trying to keep all the family alive for a long time. But I think that we could survive with just these three, right? Day 23. There's a small muddy pond in the park nearby. Too bad we forgot our fishing rod. Perhaps we could try to fish something out of the nasty water using the old suitcase. See, this is one of the scenarios I'm talking about. If I don't deal with it now, I think that I'm going to get that same scenario in the future because I never did it yet, according to the game. So they're going to keep giving me that scenario. That's my theory. But I don't even know if I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'm going to be very sad because that actually is an opportunity to get a good item. So if I just mess that up, then this run is completely pointless. But let's give them this. And we were never huge fans of mushrooms, but with a colony of them growing on the walls, we've changed our loyalties. We're all about mushrooms now. Should we eat them? Let me test it out. Because I kind of want to restart this with Mary Jane. Let me eat these radioactive mushrooms. Maybe I'll turn into some Spider-Man type shit. I don't know. But let me see if everybody's well fed. Nobody got sick. And they were delicious. Our only concern is that they were glowing in the dark. And now we are two for that matter. Okay, so they're not hungry. So I basically just saved the can of soup by giving them those mushrooms. Day 31. So this is what it's come down to. Sitting idly in the shelter with very few supplies and a growing sense of impending doom. If only there was something we could do about it, like breaking into our neighbor's shelter. We know the lock is broken, and we saw her restocking the shelter before the bomb fell. Hold on, my nose is itchy. Ah! Should we go and check it out? She and her children probably didn't even make it in there, right? Nah, they died. They died a horrible death. They exploded and became barbecue chicken in that bitch. So I don't feel bad. But I need as many food and waters as I can get. And we got nothing. Wow, so we did that for nothing. And Timmy noticed his old telescope in a pile of rubble on the other side of the street. He got really excited about stargazing again. After all, the night sky is one of the very few things that still look about the same after the blast. Should we let Timmy go out and stare pointlessly at the sky? This is why I brought him down here, so we can get scenarios like that that we've never gotten before. That's why I'm pretty sad that Mary Jane isn't in the bunker as well. Because we could have gotten some new scenarios there too. Timmy returned this morning, tired but very happy. He says he saw a spaceship flying by, one with American flag on it. Surely this can't be true. He's probably making things up. Time to grow up, Timmy. Yeah, Timmy, stop being an immature little bitch. You're like 10 years old already. So they offer a radio for a harmonica and they offer the flashlight for a padlock. That does sound good. But I wonder if the trader people will come back. Day 36. We didn't think we would get a chance to increase our food supply by simply playing a card game, but that's what we were offered by a man who knocked on our door today. Two cans of food. We win, we get his two cans. We lose, we give him our two cans. Are we going to do it? We have three people in the bunker that are very hungry. If I don't do it, then who am I? I'm taking a big risk, and I lost. I only see one can. I am so... Ted and Dolores argue about everything lately. Today's heated argument is about who should empty the bucket in the corner. I don't care. The husband's duties. If you shit in the bucket, you must clean it. That's one of the laws that you have to do when you get married. It's day 39. Timmy and Dolores are both sick. I need those Halloween doctor outfit douchebags to actually heal them real quick. Or else this is going to be a one-man show and Ted is going to bring out that sock puppet. I know he is. Today was an exciting day for Ted. All of a sudden, he found car keys in his back pocket. He has been sitting on them this whole time. Anyway, it got him reminiscing about his favorite automobile and now he's worried about it being parked up for too long. Something tells us it's the least of its troubles at the moment, but Ted seems really eager to go out and turn the engine over. I think that if we do this, then Ted actually brings back some supplies that are in the car. I don't know though. I feel like I'm imagining things. I feel like it's a Mandela effect or something, but I could have sworn that he comes back with some good shit. But our patience is wearing thin. We could have really used the Kansas soup with the pancake scenario, but I don't even have a flashlight. This run is F'd in its A. It's been a few days since Ted went out to look for his car. We're getting really worried now, especially since there have been loud thuds and shouts coming from above. Maybe he got into some trouble? Should we take a peek outside? Why not? I'm already about to throw this run away. I think that we might as well just go balls to the wall. And he's back. Hello, Ted. Ted found something all right, but it wasn't his car. He stumbled upon a barbecue party at our neighbor's burned down lawn. We recognized some faces in the small crowd of partygoers, but they all looked a bit peculiar. 
gas masks, goggles, spikes, and a lot of leather everywhere. Was this a costume party? Anyway, we found Ted passed out in a ditch near our shelter, smelling strongly of tomato and alcohol. So, tomato liquor, and we got two cans back. The two cans that we lost in the bet. So that means we could have gotten four total cans if I didn't gamble. The moral of the story is don't gamble, kids. And we took some time examining our map and found it had some abnormal symbols scribbled in a few places. It appeared as if someone had hidden something in the area and provided directions to it. Should we send someone to investigate? I guess I'll send out Timmy. The reason why I'm even doing these scenarios is because I don't have enough water and food to last. Might as well take some of these scenarios right now. Because my theory of the scenarios coming back... That's not 100% sure. I just remember seeing it when I was speed running, and we got a flashlight. All right. Too bad the pancake scenario is over. Day 46. Enough of this plain, tasteless water. Dolores is really craving a cup of coffee. Real, true, blue American coffee. The kind that you can drink five cups of and still feel sleepy. But where are we going to find that in this wasteland? Well, Dolores' favorite diner is, uh, used to be a few blocks away. Maybe someone should go on a coffee run, but who? Who else but Dolores? I think that she comes back with either some water or some food. So that's always a scenario that you should do. She died. I didn't think that she was going to die. Dolores' sickness progressed quickly. Coughing, fever, chest pain. She didn't recover. I really feel like I should restart this. Because this is not good. Having Dolores dead and we're not even 50 days in, that's bad. That's a bad sign. This might be it, everybody. This might be the run. You heard it here first from the man himself. This might be it. We got three cans of soup. Look how much soup and water I have. I have 10 and a quarter of bottles, and I have 16 and a quarter of the food. Timmy and Dolores, Team Ginger is here to get to 300 days. Military is transmitting. I don't care. If you're wondering why the items in this bunker look different, I didn't even know that if you right-click it, they can look different. Like, look at that. That's crazy. So I'd rather just, like, switch it up a little bit. So I can look at something else. Too bad I can't change, like, their hairstyles. But yeah, I didn't even know that you could do that. Like, you really learn something new every day. But I'm this many days in. I feel like I still have a lot of scenarios to go. I think if there was any run where I can get to 300 days, this is that run. Like, if I don't get to 300 at this point, I don't think I'm ever gonna do it again. I have so much stuff in this bunker. And there's more random notes. And the Raiders haven't even come once. I'm not even kidding. 120 days in, they haven't come one time. I don't know if I got lucky or what. But this could be it. Let me give them some of the good stuff. There you go. And the trash can is getting disgusting. Honestly, if the Raiders came just now, I would have said that this is bad luck. And now Pancake wants to come in the bunker. Obviously, I'm going to let him in. I have enough can of soup to last him until at least 200 days. Then I have to let him go. But maybe I'll get more cans of soup so I never have to let him go. But our first aid kit is of no use. I'm definitely going to fix that. So now we have a first aid kit again. One thing I didn't know about the bug spray is that it has the potential to make somebody sick as you're making the med kit, but nobody got sick, so we're good. More random notes. Now we're 125 days in, so what? 175 more days to go, right? I'm not so good mathing. I'm not an Albert Einstein, but I think 175 more days and another cockroach scenario. As long as we are not getting the Raiders, we are making it, I promise you. The only problem that I'm having right now is that 134 days in, we are not getting any scenarios that I passed up in the beginning. So my theory about us getting the recycled scenarios if I don't answer them the first time, I think that sucks. That was the worst theory that I ever could have came up with. I fucked around and I found out. So now I don't know what else to do, but Pancake's a good boy. Yes, he is. He's okay. He's all right. No, you know what? I'll do it, everybody. He's a good boy. I think one thing that did help me, though, with the Raiders not coming is that I've only sent out people to scavenge one time. Usually, I send them out to scavenge at least twice or three times. Three is my limit, though. I don't send them out more than three times because you get that scenario that Raiders actually followed you back home and then they start attacking you in the future. But I only sent out Timmy, I think, once. And then I brought Ted in the bunker. Actually, wait. I think I sent out Ted, too. So maybe I did do two scavenges. But other than that, I didn't send anybody out. And then I just let Ted die because I needed Dolores and Timmy to get all the food that they can get. And what do you know? We got the Raiders here. So I am going to use the axe first because people in the comments were telling me, use the axe first because it's the easiest weapon to get back in the future. So let's see if I get any axe scenarios. Let me see. Pancake has been barking and barking for hours. Okay, let's send him out. Maybe he comes back with an axe. But yeah, I saw that comment a lot. People were telling me when the Raiders attack, 
Just use the axe first, and then maybe you'll get it back. We never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. Okay, just smash those bitches. How many cockroach scenarios are we gonna get? There's been at least 12 since I hit 100 days. Day 47. Timmy noticed his old telescope in a pile of rubble on the other side of the street. He got really excited about stargazing again. After all, the night sky is one of the very few things that still look about the same after the blast. Should we let Timmy go out and stare pointlessly at the sky? Yes. He's gotten that scenario a few times though, since I brought him down here with me in the bunker. Maybe we're gonna get that often. Timmy came back, claiming he saw a mustache man on the moon. What nonsense is this? It was probably just a smudge on the lens. Okay, so never mind. It's been a while since we showered. Okay, use the gas mask on your stinky ass. So I guess we don't get an item every time Timmy wants to look at the telescope. It's just like a little fun thing to do so we can get like a little description of what he saw. So now there's a group of people outside again. This time we are going to use the gun because I did a scenario where I think that we can get it fixed if we get some message on the radio or whatever. So I'm not going to use anybody else, but we got the axe. Okay, so we traded off the gun for the axe and we had the possibility of fixing the gun. So I think that was a clutch scenario. And Pancake woke us up to go outside. Hopefully he brings back, I don't know, some ammo. Or maybe, do I have the harmonica? I do have it. And now we got the radio situation. I can hear it. So let's see. If we do this, watch. I bet you it's gonna fix the gun because of a previous scenario that I did. Tell me it got fixed, it got fixed. And look, Timmy is gonna look into his telescope again. Hopefully this is like a reoccurring scenario that we never got to unlock before where he occasionally brings back some good shit. Let me see. Timmy returned this morning, tired but very happy. He says he saw a spaceship flying by. I don't give a double doggy style damn about that. And yeah, I need to figure out if it's worth keeping Pancake now. Because we don't have that many cans of soup. I need him to just come back with like four cans in his mouth. His mouth looks super big. He can fit four cans in there, right? Timmy got the telescope scenario again. I wonder what happens if you have Mary Jane here forever. Is she the one that can just fix things in the bunker that needs repairing? She might have been a better option. Timmy came back claiming he saw a mustache man. That's the second time you've seen a mustache man, my boy. I'm starting to think that you're making all this stuff up. Wait, hold up. They got sick out of nowhere. I might have to do a little bit of that. I don't know what happened right there. Okay, let me use the axe again. Because, you know, everybody's telling me to use the axe every time there's a scenario with that. So, what the heck? I don't understand why Dolores got sick. And Timmy, too. Man, Pancake, come on, bro. I'm not feeding him this time. No. I need to start thinking wisely. Because I don't have that much stuff. Like, I don't have enough to give you, Pancake. I know you're a good boy, but damn, you need to calm down. Hopefully, he brings back another can. If he brings back another can of soup, I'll give him a can the next time he asks. I promise. But if he doesn't bring back shit, he brought back water. That was the wrong thing to bring. Day 190, I'm not going to give Pancake anything. Or should I? Oh my goodness. I'll give him one more can. One more can. And that's it. I'm done. I'm done with the BS. Pancake, you keep taking and taking and taking. Sometimes I need you to give. And now he wants to go out. Day 192. <laughs> Come on, Pancake. Yes! He brought back soup! I can't give Pancake anything else, everybody. I'm sorry. I can't. I don't even have four cans of soup to my name. Like, do you understand? Do you understand? I need every single ounce of that sweet tomato soup. And of course he broke that, but it's okay. And there's people outside. I'm going to use the gun, but I'm also going to prepare to scavenge because I need things. I don't have the ax. I don't have the gun anymore. I barely have any soup. So Pancake is going to have to help me or not at all. Hold on, Pancake's agitated. Let me see if he brings something back. 200 days in, everybody. We have 100 more to go. We can do this. Come on. What did he bring back? I don't see anything. He brought back water. Okay. Timmy, I am going to send you out. Timmy noticed his old telescope. I'm serious. This dude keeps looking at that telescope. If we're not able to use it as a weapon, I feel like it could be a baseball bat. Like, that should be in the next update. We got to be able to use it. So he saw a spaceship flying by again. He only sees two things, people with mustaches and spaceships. Just not adding up. So I'm gonna send you out, Timmy, with nothing, and you better bring some good stuff back. And he is guaranteed to come back, by the way. Timmy's back. He came back with... Uh, two tomato soups, two waters, and he brought back some cards. Okay, that's not bad. I think I'll send him out again, though. Because, oh, shoot. 
Okay, I am going to use the four people armed dudes. Did that even make sense? Did I say that right? Four people armed dudes? Whatever. I don't even care what I said. I think that they're the ones who protected us now, right? Yeah, they protected us right now. So, um, I'm gonna send out... Oh, shoot. That's not good. I'm gonna wait to send out Timmy again, because if we send out Dolores and she doesn't come back, that's a game over, and we can't have that. Like, we're balls deep in the 300 days challenge. There's no way I'm risking that. Oh, shit. Dolores got sick, bro. How? How? Timmy, with your telescope, bro, you need to look into that telescope and figure out how you are going to make your mom not sick, because this is some bullshit, bro. I'm done. I can't. Mustache man. Why did I bring you into this bunker, my dude? Okay, Pancake wants to go out. Hopefully. Hopefully it's that good stuff. Come on. Bring back something real nice. I don't even see something real nice. Water? Okay, whatever. Let me just give Dolores some good stuff. So, what I'm gonna do, everybody, I need to send out Timmy. Because we need a potential med kit. Because Dolores is looking real bad. And this is my last time I'm ever going to attempt this. We're 217 days in. Like, we can do it, but Timmy, you gotta be clutch. You gotta be the real MVP, Timmy, because if you don't, don't even bother coming back. You might as well turn into a raider. People told me that I can make Dolores better if I keep giving her water. So I'm just gonna keep doing that until she gets better and the cockroaches are back. We're 220 days in, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Like, 80 more days, and I know we can make this happen. 220 days in, Pancake is asking for a can of soup. I think I'm gonna do it, everybody. I think I'm gonna do it. I feel like he'll help me out in the long run. Because I feel like we might get attacked by the raiders. I need him to bite their ankles or something. Oh, man. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know if I made the right choice. But Pancake wants to go out. I feel like I just messed up by giving one of my last cans of soup. I really do. <laughs> he brought back another one, though. Let's go. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Do that. And if Timmy doesn't come back, though, this is a yikes. He just came back. Yes. What did he bring back? Timmy, you didn't bring back a med kit, though. He didn't bring back shit. Whoo, Timmy. You didn't bring back shit. You suck. Okay, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Firefighters are back. I am going to let Pancake handle that. And I'm sorry, everybody. We have to say bye to Pancake. He was a good dog, though. <laughs> I love you, Pancake. You're so good. I'm going to wait for Timmy to actually get well enough to go outside again. Because I'm going to use him to try to find some more items. But if he doesn't come back with some good shit, we're effed. We are really effed. So let me just prepare to scavenge again. And yeah. Because I was going to send out Dolores because she's able to go out. But Timmy is the one who's the least risky. Because if he goes away, at least I still have Dolores to survive. And she barely has any strength left. Maybe I should give her some food. Because I'm scared. I'm nervous. I really am nervous. And I think that we're approaching my record for most days survived. So at least if we don't hit 300, which we will. Because I promise you all, we will. Um, at least I'm getting close, right? At least I'm safe inside my mind. Timmy noticed his old telescope. I'm so sick of that telescope. I'm about to break that shit in half. Okay, I need to send somebody out. Because this is not it. This is not it. We don't have any more soup. We don't have any more soup. I need to. Because they're going to die if I don't feed them again. And Dolores is good. Okay. So we definitely have to send out somebody. It's got to be Dolores. Because we don't have anything else. So I think I'm going to send out Dolores with the flashlight. Don't ask me why I chose the flashlight. Maybe we can hit somebody over the head with it. But, oh man. I really hope that she comes back. Because I oh, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm thinking, Dolores. Please come back. I will be so grateful if you come back. It's day 235. Hopefully she found, like, a war chest with so many great things. Wouldn't that be the dream, everybody? If she just did that? Hold on. When we peeked outside the shelter door, we thought we were as good as dead. A huge, hairy, mutated spider was approaching our door. We calmed down when we heard the familiar voice of a hunter we helped a while back. Thanks to our aid, she was able to track down the spider and tame it. She brought some food along. No clue if it was a spider meat, but we shared a nice, filling meal and got to pet the spider. It was educational. So, she came back and fed Timmy? But what about Dolores, who just came back on day 236? She brought back... What? She didn't bring back shit? I don't understand! Oh my goodness. Timmy can go out, though. Timmy can go out. 
Okay, so we're gonna send out Timmy, everybody. What is happening, though? Why is nobody bringing shit back on back-to-back -back scavenges? Is it because I'm this far in, in, like, days survived, that this game just doesn't give a shit anymore? That's the thing that I don't understand about this game. Like, I wish that the scenarios just don't stop, because you get stuff like this, and it makes it impossible to get to 300 days, because the scenarios just say, F this. Like, that's how it really feels. And I honestly don't think that the spider lady gave Dolores any food, because it wouldn't make sense anyway, right? Because she wasn't even there to share that meal. So I think that she's gonna die. I think it's over, everybody. I think it's a wrap. 240 days in. How long can Dolores survive without food? We are about to figure it out right now. Because all I have is water. And I knew I should have let Pancake go earlier. Because I had way more cans of food. Come on, Timmy. Please come back. Please come back soon. Because I do not want to end this. This is such a good run. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Come on. Come on. Please. Fuck! Oh, that is so sad. It wasn't even because of the raiders. It was because of the food. Man. And Timmy didn't even come back anyway. So I guess it didn't even matter. Damn, that sucks. That hurts. We made it 240-something days. Wow, that hurts. I can't believe this. I've been playing this for seven plus hours. I don't even know if it's seven or eight hours because I had to do two separate recordings. This one is almost four hours, and the other one was almost four hours. So almost eight hours. I've been doing this for almost eight hours. And I don't think that this shit is possible because I tried to do it the legit way all that time. And I've attempted 300-day challenges before, and I never got close. And it's always because I run out of food and water. So people recommended to me before some mods for 60 seconds to get unlimited water and food. That's why you see I have a shitload of it right here. And it's still making no difference. The Raiders are still coming and coming and coming. Even Dolores died, and it's just nonstop. So I don't even know if food and water even matter. And even if I got to 300, this shit wouldn't be legit anyway. I wouldn't even count this because I modded the game with all this water and food. I just want to see if it's even possible. And look, the Raiders are back. So I think I need to prepare to scavenge and... I need to see if I could even make it close to 300, even with a bunch of water and food. They took everything. They took everything. Look, they took every single thing that I had. Oh my goodness. That is hilarious. Yeah, I'm definitely done. Even when we modded this game, they still took every single thing that we had. And the funniest part of it is, I actually can't get that back. Mods or not. I actually have to have at least one soup and one water in my inventory for us to get more water and soup. And they took everything. So that's hilarious. Yeah, I think I might have to end it here. I honestly cannot believe that happened. You're never going to see me attempt the 300 days challenge again. If he doesn't come back tomorrow, we're screwed because they took everything. He didn't come back. We're dead. We are so dead. I am sick to my stomach. I'm sick to my stomach. I think I'm gonna throw up. I can't believe this son of a bitch, bro. You've got to be kidding me. Timmy, please come back, Timmy. I can't stand this. Oh, my goodness. Bro, we are so cooked. We're cooked like barbecue chicken. What the f... I'm so done. Oh, my God. Day 208, and he still hasn't come back. Like, what are you on, Timmy? What are you doing, bro? He came back, and it's the end. This is a sick joke. This game is so gross, and Mary Jane turned into a mutant. I, I can't, I can't. That was disgusting. Timmy came back with soup and water. That actually would have enabled me to do the unlimited food and water thing. And we got mutant Mary Jane. I'm so sick. I'm so sick. I'm never attempting this again. I'm just ending the episode.